The last big Ebola virus outbreak claimed 11,000 lives in West Africa. Africa is frequently referred to as the Dark Continent. Africa is referred Dark Continent because of the enslavement of black people and exploitation of resources. She is hesitant to offer up her enigmas and the geographical inaccessibility of some of the more mysterious animals and places makes scientific discoveries extra difficult. The Great Rift Valley, also known as the scar on Earth's face, is a geological wonder to the world. Join us as we delve deeper into understanding the mysteries of scary discoveries from Africa. Twenty, Ebola. Ebola is a viral hemorrhagic fever caused by the Ebola virus. Many aspects of its biology and behavior are still shrouded in mystery. It attacks tissue around the body, basically attacks everything in the human body except for your bones. This fearsome disease is notorious for its high mortality rates and severe symptoms. Since its discovery in 1976 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Sudan, Ebola has been a challenging and elusive adversary for the scientific community. One of the scientific puzzles surrounding Ebola lies in its natural host, while bats are believed to be the likely source, the exact species responsible for transmitting the virus to humans remains uncertain. Bats are known to harbor numerous viruses without displaying symptoms, making them potential carriers for emerging diseases. The way Ebola transmits has also posed challenges for scientists. The virus primarily spreads through direct contact with the blood, body fluids, and tissues of infected animals or people. However, the precise mechanisms of transmission within animal populations and the factors that contribute to spillovers into human populations are not fully understood yet. Ebola outbreaks are another scientific enigma. Some outbreaks result in high mortality rates, while others are less severe. The factors influencing the virulence and transmission of the virus are complex and multifaceted, involving a combination of ecological, human, and viral factors. Efforts to develop effective vaccines and treatments for Ebola have faced scientific obstacles. This is mostly due to the virus's ability to rapidly mutate. The scientific community continues to grapple with these complexities, emphasizing the need for multidisciplinary research and international collaboration to unravel the mysteries of Ebola and develop effective strategies for prevention and control. 19. Fairy Circles of the Namib Desert The mysterious fairy circles dotting the arid landscape of the Namib Desert in southern Africa have captivated scientists. They continue to defy a single, conclusive explanation. These natural wonders, characterized by circular barren patches, surrounded by thriving vegetation, have sparked various theories. Spanning parts of Namibia, Angola, and South Africa, the fairy circles are most notably concentrated in the red sands of Namibia's arid grasslands. They range in size from a few feet to over 30 feet in diameter. Scientists have proposed several hypotheses to unravel the mystery of fairy circles. One prevailing theory suggests that termite activity is a key factor. According to this hypothesis, sand termites create the circles by feeding on the roots of the grasses. This results in the circular patterns of vegetation-free soil. However, this explanation doesn't account for all fairy circles, and the precise interplay between termites and vegetation remains an ongoing subject of research. Another theory links the fairy circles to underground competition for scarce water resources. It posits that the circles represent self-organizing vegetation patterns, where plants organize themselves to maximize access to water in the arid environment. This theory is supported by mathematical models, yet the mechanisms driving this self-organization are still not fully understood. Local Himba communities attribute the fairy circles to spiritual or supernatural forces, adding a layer of cultural significance to these natural wonders. Despite scientific advancements, the fairy circles of the Namib continue to be a source of wonder, blending the allure of the unknown with the beauty of the desert landscape. 18. Leptis Magna Deep in the desert sands along the North African coast lie the ancient ruins of Leptis Magna, a remarkably well-preserved historical site revered worldwide. This UNESCO World Heritage Site stands tall as a symbol of the Roman Empire's glory and architectural genius in North Africa. Yet, locals believe there's more beneath the surface. They whisper about something more than just history. They talk of eerie happenings when night falls. Stories spin about the dead, waking from their slumber in underground tombs, drawn by some ancient, unknown mission. As darkness blankets the ruins, faint drumbeats echo, 
and ghostly figures flit by. Folks brave enough to wander after sundown tell of chilling encounters with shadowy shapes and a spooky vibe that hangs heavy in the air. Leptis Magna's riddle, tied to these restless souls and their mysterious connection, remains unsolved. This ancient city lures in the curious, daring them to uncover the secrets buried deep within its ancient stones. 17. African Naked Mole Rat the African naked mole rat is a small, bizarre-looking rodent. This animal baffles scientists with its peculiar appearance, fascinating social structure, and unique physiological traits. This animal is native to the arid regions of East Africa, including Ethiopia, Kenya, and Somalia. The naked mole rat is a subterranean mammal and has adapted to a highly specialized and cooperative way of life. One of the most striking features of the naked mole rat is its lack of fur. This gives it a distinctive, wrinkled appearance. Its nearly hairless skin is insensitive to pain and can withstand the challenges of burrowing through the underground tunnels it calls home. This adaptation is crucial for their subterranean lifestyle. It protects them from abrasions and injuries in the tight, sandy confines of their burrows. These mole rats live in large colonies with a queen at the helm. The naked mole rats exhibit a eusocial structure akin to certain insects, such as bees and ants. The colony is organized with a single reproductive female or queen and a few reproductive males. The rest of the individuals are non-breeding workers. This social structure facilitates cooperative behaviors, including group burrow construction, foraging, and caring for the queen's offspring. For their size, naked mole rats have an exceptionally long lifespan. Some individuals live up to 30 years in captivity. They display resistance to cancer. Research on these rodents has provided insights into the mechanisms of aging and cancer resistance. Naked mole rats have a high resistance to cancer, although it is likely that they are not entirely immune to related disorders. Right now, scientists are looking at potential avenues for medical research and ways the mole rat can increase the understanding of human health. 16. Dagara Cosmology The Dagara Cosmology holds profound interest in the scientific community. It represents a unique and intricate indigenous knowledge system that intertwines cosmology, spirituality, and the natural world. Originating from the Dagara people of West Africa, this cosmology offers a holistic understanding of the universe. It encompasses the interplay between humans, nature, and the spiritual realm. At the same time, it provides a nuanced perspective on ecology, emphasizing the interconnectedness of all living beings and their environments. The Dagara cosmology's emphasis on ritual practices, symbolic language, and community engagement serves as a valuable resource for anthropologists, ethnobotanists, and scholars interested in the intersection of traditional knowledge and scientific inquiry. Additionally, its insights into the cycles of life, cosmogony, and healing rituals contribute to a broader understanding of diverse cultural perspectives on existence and the natural order. It fosters cross-cultural dialogue and enriches the tapestry of global scientific exploration. 15. The Rainbow Serpent Scientists are taking a second look at the Rainbow Serpent and other African myths. Their scientific relevance is being properly recognized for the first time. They offer cultural narratives that provide unique perspectives on natural phenomena, ecological relationships, and human interactions with the environment. These myths, rooted in the rich oral traditions of diverse African cultures, often contain symbolic elements that encode ecological knowledge and principles of sustainability. The Rainbow Serpent, for instance, is a prominent figure in Australian Aboriginal mythology. But similar serpent motifs exist in various African myths. These symbolize the life force and interconnectedness of ecosystems. Studying these myths allows scientists and researchers to uncover indigenous ecological insights, such as sustainable resource management practices, animal behavior observations, and environmental adaptation strategies embedded in the narratives. By bridging traditional knowledge systems with contemporary scientific inquiry, scholars gain a more comprehensive understanding of the intricate ways in which ancient cultures perceived and interacted with the natural world, fostering a holistic approach to ecological research and conservation. 14. Fossa The fossa is a remarkable and elusive carnivore native to the island of Madagascar. It is the largest carnivorous mammal on this African island and possesses a unique combination of physical traits that sets it apart in the animal kingdom. The fossa is a slender, long-tailed, 
cat-like mammal that is endemic to Madagascar. It looks like a blend of a cat and a mongoose. The fossa has a slender, elongated body, a pointed face, and retractable claws. Its agile and arboreal nature allows it to move swiftly through the dense forests of Madagascar. It utilizes its sharp claws for climbing and hunting. Despite its cat-like appearance, the fossa is more closely related to the mongoose family. The fossa primarily prey on lemurs, birds, and other small mammals. Its hunting strategy often involves climbing trees to surprise its prey from above. This specialized diet makes the fossa a key player in the ecological balance of Madagascar's unique ecosystem, where lemurs represent a significant portion of its prey. The fossa's reproductive habits are also distinctive. Unlike many other carnivores, the fossa does not have a specific breeding season. Females typically give birth to one to six offspring, and the young fossas are remarkably independent at an early age, learning to climb and hunt by themselves. The fossa is a unique and vital component of Madagascar's biodiversity, embodying the island's distinct evolutionary history and the importance of preserving its natural heritage. 13. The Great Rift Valley the Great Rift Valley, also known as the Scar on Earth's Face, is a geological wonder stretching over 6,000 kilometers from Lebanon in Asia to Mozambique in Southeast Africa. Recently, some of the lakes within the valley have been swelling, causing homes, schools, and wildlife to become flooded. No one knows for sure why this has been happening. Some scientists say global warming and habitat degradation are to blame. Aside from the current floods, the valley is a breathtaking example of the Earth's dynamic forces and the ever-changing landscape of our planet. This massive trench, formed by the tectonic activity along the East African Rift, is a cradle of natural wonders, diverse ecosystems, and rich human history. The rift system, comprising several interconnected rifts, is marked by cliffs, escarpments, and volcanic activity. One of the most iconic features is the Eastern Rift, which traverses through Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania. The Rift Valley has been a crucible for the creation of impressive landscapes, including escarpments, volcanic craters, and stunning lakes. The valley is home to an array of unique and diverse ecosystems, from the highlands of Ethiopia to the vast savannas of Kenya. Beyond its geological and ecological significance, the Great Rift Valley is a treasure trove of human history. It has been a crucial region for the discovery of early hominid fossils, providing valuable insights into human evolution. The Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania, part of the Eastern Rift, has been a prolific site for paleontological discoveries, revealing the presence of hominids dating back millions of years. 12. Mamiwata, West Africa From the depths of a lake in West Africa emerged a peculiar sight, a figure resembling a merman hoisted out by individuals donning full biohazard suits. This unusual scenario added an element of intrigue to the scene, reminiscent of tales surrounding Mamiwata, the African merman deeply embedded in the spiritual beliefs of various African and Afro-Caribbean cultures. The footage gained swift notoriety online, leaving viewers both astounded and bewildered, echoing the enigmatic essence often associated with Mamiwata. The presence of those clad in biohazard gear sparked questions about potential contamination or the mysterious origins of this aquatic being, drawing parallels to the unconfirmed sightings and reverence surrounding Mamiwata. While the video's authenticity remains uncertain, it has become another enigmatic addition to the chronicles of unexplained phenomena, akin to the mystique shrouding encounters attributed to Mamiwata. Fueling speculation and curiosity among its audience, this mysterious incident continues to puzzle us. 11. Voodoo Voodoo, also known as Vodou or Vodun, is a cultural and religious system that provides insight into the complex interplay between spirituality, psychology, and community dynamics. It originated in West Africa and amalgamated in the Americas, particularly in Haiti. Voodoo encompasses a diverse array of beliefs, rituals, and practices. From a scientific standpoint, the study of voodoo sheds light on the psychological and social mechanisms that underpin belief systems, community cohesion, and coping strategies in the face of adversity. Moreover, voodoo incorporates herbal medicine and healing practices, offering a unique perspective on traditional medicinal knowledge. By understanding the scientific dimensions of voodoo, 
Researchers are exploring ways in which cultural and religious practices influence mental health, community resilience, and even the development of pharmacologically active compounds. This interdisciplinary approach contributes to a more nuanced comprehension of the human experience, highlighting the intricate connections between culture, spirituality, and the scientific understanding of well-being. 10. Ankole cattle and the legend of Nyabingi Ankole cattle, with their distinctively large, sweeping horns, is a striking breed native to East Africa, particularly in Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. These cattle hold tremendous cultural significance and intertwine with the legend of Nyabingi, a powerful and mystical figure in the folklore of the Banyankoli people. Scientifically classified as Bos Taurus Ankylosis, Ankole cattle are known for their long, lyre-shaped horns that can span up to 8 feet or 2.4 meters from tip to tip. Scientists have discovered that these impressive horns serve various purposes. These include heat regulation, as blood vessels near the surface release heat. They also hold deep cultural significance and serve as a status symbol, reflecting the wealth and prestige of the owner. In Banyankole mythology, Nyabingi is a revered spirit believed to embody the essence of fertility, prosperity, and protection. Legend has it that Nyabingi could transform into a cow, and Ankole cattle are considered sacred manifestations of her presence. This sacred connection has led to the Ankole cattle being regarded not only as a valuable economic asset, but also as a spiritual and cultural symbol within the Banyankole community. Scientifically, the Ankole cattle are adapted to the East African climate, characterized by hot temperatures and seasonal variations. Their distinctive horns not only aid in thermoregulation, but also serve as a deterrent to predators. Additionally, their hump, a characteristic feature of zebu cattle, stores fat that can be utilized during periods of scarcity. 9. The Danakil Depression the Danakil Depression, situated in the northeastern part of the Afar Triangle in Ethiopia, is an otherworldly landscape and also one of the hottest and lowest places on Earth. This geological wonder is marked by extreme temperatures, unique geological formations, and a surreal environment that captures the imagination. Scientifically, the Danakil Depression is a tectonic triple junction. In this spot, three tectonic plates, African, Arabian, and Somali, pull away from each other. This tectonic activity has led to the formation of various geological features, including deep rifts, volcanic craters, and salt flats. The Afar Triangle is part of the East African Rift System, which is a divergent tectonic boundary. Scientifically significant, the Danakil Depression is also home to the Danakil Depression Desert. This is one of the lowest points in Africa, lying about 125 meters or 410 feet below sea level. This extreme depression, results in high temperatures, often exceeding 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the hottest places on the planet. 8. Socotra Island Socotra Island is situated in the Indian Ocean, near the Gulf of Aden. Its landscape is surreal and alien-like and has fascinated scientists for centuries. It is often referred to as the Galapagos of the Indian Ocean. Socotra is renowned for its unique and endemic flora and fauna making it one of the most biologically distinct and geologically captivating places on Earth. The dragon's blood trees are iconic, with their umbrella-shaped canopy and red sap that gives them their name. These ancient trees, adapted to the arid climate, contribute to the island's distinct appearance, creating a landscape reminiscent of a fantasy world. Socotra's isolation, coupled with its diverse ecosystems, has led to the evolution of numerous endemic species found nowhere else on the planet. The Socotra Archipelago is home to a high number of endemic plants too, including the cucumber tree and the Socotran pomegranate. The island also hosts unique bird species, like the Socotra starling and the Socotra sunbird. 7. Great Zimbabwe Great Zimbabwe, an ancient city in present-day Zimbabwe, holds considerable scientific significance as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is now UNESCO World Heritage Site. It offers critical insights into the architectural, engineering, and socio-economic aspects of pre-colonial African societies. The stone structures of Great Zimbabwe, particularly the Great Enclosure and the Great Zimbabwe Hill Complex, showcase advanced dry stone construction techniques that remain a subject of architectural and engineering interest. The city's layout and design 
provide valuable information about urban planning and social organization, challenging historical misconceptions about African civilizations. Archaeological excavations at Great Zimbabwe have unearthed artifacts and evidence of trade networks. It's evidence like this which has helped historians and archaeologists to piece together the whole great story of long-distance trade. Contributing to a deeper understanding of the economic activities and cultural exchanges in the region during the city's peak from the 11th to 15th centuries. 6. The Okapi The Okapi is a unique and elusive animal, native to the dense forests of the Ituri Rainforest in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They go copies only found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And we initiated a project with no protected areas for their conservation. The Okapi is a mammal known for its striking appearance and is closely related to the giraffe. Scientifically, the Okapi is classified as a member of the Giraffidae family and is the only living relative of the giraffe species. Physically, the Okapi stands out with its dark brown to reddish brown coat, featuring distinct horizontal white stripes on its hindquarters and legs. These markings act as effective camouflage in the dappled sunlight of the forest. One of the most remarkable features of the Okapi is its long prehensile tongue, which can extend up to 18 inches or 45 centimeters. This specialized tongue aids in reaching and grasping vegetation, especially leaves, fruits, and buds from trees and shrubs in its forest habitat. Scientifically, the elongated tongue of the Okapi is an adaptation to its herbivorous diet, allowing it to feed on a greater variety of plant species. The Okapi is known for its solitary and elusive behavior, often navigating the dense vegetation of the rainforest with a cautious demeanor. Scientific studies on Okapi behavior and ecology have been challenging due to their elusive nature. However, research efforts are ongoing to better understand their habits, social structure, and conservation needs. 5. Gustav The biggest crocodile ever found in Africa was a massive specimen named Gustav. This legendary Nile crocodile was renowned for its enormous size, elusive nature, and reputed aggressiveness. Gustav is the biggest crocodile ever found in Africa. Experts have said Gustav could be as old as 100 years. Gustav gained notoriety along the banks of the Rusizi River in Burundi and the northern shores of Lake Tanganyika, with occasional sightings along the Rusizi River in Congo. Estimating Gustav's exact size has been challenging due to his elusive behavior. It is believed that he measured around 18 to 20 feet, or 5.5 to 6 meters, in length and weighed over a ton. Some reports even suggested he could be larger. His size and the numerous scars on his body were indicative of a crocodile that had survived multiple encounters, possibly with humans. Scientifically, Gustav's exceptional size can be attributed to a combination of factors, including genetics, diet, and environmental conditions. Nile crocodiles have the potential for significant growth. When conditions are favorable, with an abundant food supply and minimal threats, individuals like Gustav can reach extraordinary sizes. Gustav's notoriety also stemmed from his alleged involvement in numerous attacks on humans along the shores of Lake Tanganyika. While the number of his victims has been a subject of debate, Gustav's reputation as a potentially dangerous and elusive predator added to the mystique surrounding him. Efforts to capture or study Gustav were met with challenges. He was remarkably intelligent and evaded traps and eluded capture for many years. Scientifically, Gustav's survival instincts and ability to navigate his territory highlighted the adaptability and resilience of Nile crocodiles in the face of changing environmental conditions. While Gustav's exact whereabouts and status remain uncertain, his story has become part of the lore surrounding large and enigmatic wildlife in Africa, and it still captures the imagination of those intrigued by the mysteries of the continent's ecosystems. 4. Coilacanth the coelacanth is often referred to as a living fossil. It is a prehistoric fish species that defied scientific expectations by resurfacing in the Indian Ocean in 1938. Its discovery had a profound impact on the understanding of fish evolution and the broader field of paleontology. The coelacanth belongs to a group of lobe-finned fish that date back around 400 million years. It was long thought to have gone extinct around 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period until a living specimen was caught off the coast of South Africa. 
The coelacanth's unique features distinguish it from other fish species. It possesses lobed pectoral and pelvic fins, which are more similar to the limbs of tetrapods than the typical fins of most fish. This characteristic hints at the evolutionary link between fish and the first land-dwelling vertebrates. The coelacanth's discovery challenged the prevailing scientific belief that it was a transitional form between fish and amphibians that had gone extinct. Its existence provided crucial insights into the evolution of vertebrates and the adaptation of certain fish species to deep sea environments. Scientifically, the coelacanth's deep sea habitat is significant. Found at depths of around 500 to 800 meters, or 1,600 to 2,600 feet, the fish inhabits the twilight zone, where sunlight is minimal. Its specialized adaptations, including a gel-filled hollow spine for buoyancy, enable it to thrive in this low-light environment. 3. The Pillar of Alexandria The Pillar of Alexandria, also known as Pompey's Pillar, is an ancient monument located in Alexandria, Egypt. It holds historical and archaeological significance. While the pillar is often associated with the legendary conqueror Pompey, it was actually erected in honor of the Roman Emperor Diocletian in 297 AD. Scientifically, the Pillar of Alexandria gives researchers incredible insight into the architectural and engineering prowess of the ancient Romans. Composed of Aswan red granite, the monolithic pillar reaches a height of approximately 26.85 meters or 88 feet and has a diameter of 2.7 meters or 8.9 feet. But one mystery remains. How did they build it way up there? The pillar's location in Alexandria is significant for historians. The city, founded by Alexander the Great in 331 BC, was a center of cultural, intellectual, and commercial activity in the ancient world. The choice of Aswan red granite, sourced from quarries in southern Egypt, reflects the trade networks and resource utilization strategies of the ancient Romans. 2. Traditional African Medicine African medicinal practices have a rich history, deeply rooted in indigenous knowledge and the diverse ecosystems of the continent. While traditional healing methods vary across regions and ethnic groups, they often involve the use of plant-based remedies, ritualistic practices, and a holistic understanding of health and well-being. Scientifically, many African medicinal plants have been the subject of research due to their potential therapeutic properties. For example, the bark of the African cherry tree has been studied for its anti-inflammatory properties and its traditional use in treating prostate disorders. Similarly, the rooibos plant, native to South Africa, has gained attention for its antioxidant-rich leaves, believed to have potential health benefits. The use of medicinal plants extends to the traditional practices of herbalists and healers, who often possess extensive knowledge of local flora. In West Africa, the Moringa tree is valued for its nutritional and medicinal properties. Scientific studies have confirmed its high nutritional content, including vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, contributing to its reputation as a superfood. African medicinal practices also involve spiritual and ritualistic elements, recognizing the interconnectedness of the physical, mental, and spiritual aspects of health. Scientifically, the placebo effect, wherein a patient experiences a therapeutic response despite receiving an inactive substance, highlights the role of belief and psychological factors in the healing process. In addition to plants, animal products are sometimes utilized in African traditional medicine. For instance, honey, known for its antibacterial properties, has been used in various cultures to promote wound healing. Scientific investigations into the antimicrobial compounds in honey contribute to our understanding of its potential therapeutic applications. 1. Mrs. Pless Mrs. Pless is a nickname given to a significant fossil specimen of an early hominid discovered in South Africa. Scientifically known as Australopithecus africanus, Mrs. Pless played a crucial role in shaping our understanding of human evolution. Discovered in 1947 at the Sterkfontein Caves by Dr. Robert Broom and his team, Mrs. Pless is estimated to be around 2.05 to 2.8 million years old. This places her in the Pliocene and early Pleistocene epochs, a critical period in hominid evolution. Scientific analysis of Mrs. Pless's skull reveals key characteristics that link her to the Australopithecus genus. The fossil displays a combination of ape-like and human-like features, indicative of a transitional form between earlier apes and later hominids. Notably, the cranial capacity of Mrs. Pless is larger than that of earlier hominids, reflecting an increase in brain size during hominid evolution. 
One of the significant scientific contributions of Mrs. Pless is her role in supporting the idea that hominids originated in Africa. The discovery of Australopithecus africanus fossils, including Mrs. Pless, provided compelling evidence for the African origin of the hominid lineage. It challenged earlier notions that human ancestors emerged solely in Asia or Europe. That's all for now. We'll catch you in the next video.